Okay, so um, today is just a run out of everything we do in science, it's similar to what we did in maths just now. So again, we saw this already. Um, well, well done, you have gone to the end of the APL. Tomorrow onwards will be the holidays. Okay, so what we'll be talking about today is basically the key concepts about materials, the key mistakes we have made, what work should have been done by now, and the things about science you can do during the May holidays. Okay, so um, for those who have followed closely to the lesson, you realize that there are seven types of materials you have learned. You have plastic, rubber, wood, metal, glass, ceramic, and fabric. Okay, not all the materials are the same, even within the same type. So for example, plastic, some plastic um, allow light to pass through, some plastic don't. Um, some plastic are strong, some plastic are weak. Um, some plastic are flexible, some plastic are stiff. So for each and every um, property later we'll explore more but do know that there are seven types of materials unlike pambi i have no way to help you to memorize this um so you really have to know that there are seven types of materials okay that is in the world of course there are more but these are the seven that are quite common to you all right so the next one is um key mistakes that i see you guys making um there's a difference between type and example for example, right, fabric, you know, is part of the seven types that we learn. Fabric, a type. A fabric is of cotton, your silk, your um, wool, um, your polyester, that sort of thing. Okay, so fabric is the type that we're talking about. Cotton is an example. So when I ask you what material it is, tell me the type. Don't give me an example. Okay, so uh, please be very careful on that. For example, um, what material is it? It's metal. Example. For example, okay, so there's a difference between material and object. Also, I think the first experiment we did, we kind of focus on that. Material is the seven material, object is aluminum foil, glass bottle. This is an object, glass bottle is not a material, it's a thing, it's an object. Okay, so I'll do it carefully if they're asking for type, example, or object. Okay, so be very careful on the words you use. So, properties of material, same thing. Um, there are five that we have learned. So, we learned seven materials, five properties. Um, and for the hair or break easily, I can either carry it or I can break it. Okay, the glass is weak, can break easily. Paper is weak because can tear easily. Metal, depending on what metal you're talking about, for example, talk about aluminum foil, tear easily. If I'm talking about like uh, iron bar or magnet iron bar, cannot tear easily. Um, if it can bend easily, it's flexible. If it doesn't bend flex easily, it's stiff. So for strength, there's adjectives to use, strong or weak. Flexibility, there's stiff and flexible. Transparency, allow light to pass through, don't allow light to pass through. Uh, waterproof, waterproof or not waterproof. Otherwise, you have adsorbent or not adsorbent. Um, then you've got uh, float and sink. So you got adjectives for so all the five uh, different properties that you have learned. So um, the concept I see from your work is some of you are unable to tell what property of the material that the experiment is testing on. For example, if the, if the experiment is talking about strength, you cannot tell uh, by my testing on. Okay, so this is something that we want to work on because this is uh, exam technique. Um, things like weight, things like shape, things like size, these are not properties. You only have five properties. Strength, flexibility, uh, flow and sink, waterproof or not, and allow light to pass through or not, transparency. Okay, so there's only five properties. Weight, shape, size are not properties. Okay, these are not properties. Okay, um, in material pressure, it's the first time that you have a lot of data, a lot of measurements. Um, you, have, you really have to spend time and learn how to understand the data. Again, this is something that is new to you. Uh, we will work on this as we come back to school. Okay, looking at the data and able to tell me which one is strongest, which one is weakest, which one is the most flexible, which one is the most stiff, which one can is the most waterproof, which one is the least waterproof or least absorbent in that sense. So you need to be able to understand the data given to you. Um, the next one is that your explanation for properties is also quite weak. Again, you are new to this. I don't blame you. It is very new to you. Uh, you need to follow a certain structure. This, to, this structure is to help you to answer, uh, to explain clearer. So for example, you should always start with the material, whatever you're talking about. Tell me about the property and how does it help. Don't tell me that um, it is waterproof, so what? Okay, there's always this so that 
a lot of people always miss out. So for example, um, if you're talking about glass, why you choose glass for your window? Because glass allows light to pass through, that is the property. And so that what can you do? How does it help? Because you need to be able to see through the window. So that is the, how does it help? So it always comes with the property and also how does it help? You need to follow this structure to help that, to help you answer clearly. Same thing for metal, why I choose metal for my metal gate. For example, my door, I put a metal gate there. Why? Because it is strong. Uh, because it can, strong so what? Strong so it can hold more blocks of weight. So it doesn't uh, break easily because you don't want um, the teeth or the rubber to come into your house. Okay, so um, always start with the property. Tell me how does it help. So there's always a link. Don't, don't just tell me I use metal for my gate because metal is strong. So why must it be strong? Okay, that's, the, that's the question that you guys always leave out. Okay, so uh, those are the common mistakes, the common problems and the key concepts you learned so far. So now I go on to the work that should have been done by now, including corrections, including the physical work. So everything you have done in the past, remember we said you need to do twice, once on the task kick, once on hard copy. So now we are at the end of HBR already. So now we focus on your hard copy in case you haven't finished. Okay, so I'm going to go through with the uh, go through work that you have done. Make sure you have completed everything, all corrections are done. If you miss out certain pages, or you can go to YouTube to check out the solution. Try first, then check out the solution on YouTube. Okay, so uh, review exercise, this is in your activity book. Review exercise should have been done. 5.1, materials around us um, should have been done. Okay, uh, if you remember, we also have a video on the tearing of the tissue paper and aluminum foil, 5.2 should have been done as well. And then uh, the next one is 5.3, which is bending of the ruler, touch slide through the material and floating and sinking, which we have done also. Um, fifth one, um, 5.4, uh, waterproof test, um, the video on the waterproof test, make sure you have done 5.4. So you realize almost everything we have done. Uh, 5.5, the right choice, uh, make sure you have done as well. Again, solutions are on YouTube. Um, after that, there will be all the activities for materials. Uh, make sure you have done exercise five, both pages completed with corrections. Then after that, understanding, your understanding, which is the last few pages of the workbook. So basically, after all this, right, you realize your workbook is totally done. There is actually, uh, I think 5.6 we didn't do. And the thematic exercise, thematic activity we didn't do. Everything else I've mentioned just now, everything should have been done. Okay, that's just the activity book. Now we're going to worksheet, uh, fungal and bacteria topical worksheet. Um, that was the first thing that we did. Uh, finish it, corrections done, everything. Everything must be done. Uh, materials and topical worksheet, we just finished this week, um, last week actually. So uh, materials, topical worksheet, finish it as well. Everything done, corrections done. Okay, so I'm coming to the end already. Um, things about science you can do. Um, we will take some time to relook at materials, just very fast one. Of course, I think we need to work on your explanation skills. But uh, moving on for in June when we start school, we'll probably be starting on interactions that is about Manex, the North and South Pole, attraction, repulsion, that sort of thing. So you have your textbook with you. Um, go and read up on interaction of Manex. I'm sure everyone at home, you have Manex at home. On your fridge, there's definitely Manex at home. Um, some of you have those toy Manex as well. Some of you have butter Manex as well. Play around them, see how they interact with each other. Um, read up online for information about Manex, information about animals, information about materials, anything under science. I play online puzzle. Um, every Tuesday, like for math, I will be posting some links to online science material that are related to the things we study or going to study. So uh, one of them, uh, I'll be doing a deck toys for materials. I'm still doing it. So uh, perhaps next week, I'll be able to release it to you. So check SRS every Tuesday around maybe in the, uh, around 10 o'clock. By then I should be done ready. So every Tuesday, just go on to SIS, look up for some of the links that you can use to um, go and follow up, um, read up more on science, okay?